Hey, Vilna here and I just want to show you a quick tutorial how to do a print and cut with my designs. So first of all you want to open the offset. So I'm just opening a folder with with um, the flowers and now I'm just dragging the offset onto the, um, the silhouette software. And first of all I always make my uh, cut file so you click select trace area um, de-click high pass filter and click trace and then I remove the black and I just delete it I hit delete and now you want to bring in your your um, floral and I I just want to show you what happens if you drag it right onto the cut file you can see it it um, clips to it so I always just put it aside and not on the cut file itself and now I just reposition this until I'm happy and then I click and drag over both of them and right click and say group and now you can make them smaller or bigger and the red lines are on there if you just look carefully you'll see there's the cut line so it's still on there and then always remember when you do a print and cut is to put on your markings so I always put the registration marks on and I use the one with the little square okay and now you can see how that works so let's add another one to the sheet this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet and I just want to add another one on here. I always start with the cut offset. Um, you click trace, select trace area, and then you want to select that whole piece here. And de-click high pass filter, click trace, remove the black um, and hit delete. And now I'll bring in my color part so I'm not putting it onto the you can see how it clips when you put it right on the cut file or the lines you just want to put it off to the side and now you can position it on the red lines until you're happy click and drag over both and click group and now I'm I can just reposition this one as well Ah, come on. And there you go. So now you can make them as big or small as you want to. And you can add as many as you want on a sheet. Doesn't matter how big your printing area is. So if and you print on a 12 by 12 you can keep on adding more of these designs you know to your pa paper and then you just always want to go up to a file and then print page setup and make sure that your printer is selected and the size of the page that you're using and then you can go ahead and click print so don't touch anything on your screen. Don't move it around. If you've printed, don't move it because then your cut is going to be off. So you click print. It prints. You fit it into your silhouette cameo and you click cut. So right here and you click cut. I have my own setting. I like to work on a higher setting and I love to do a double cut. And then you just click center silhouette and it will cut. So I hope this helps. Um, one more thing, if say you have a wide format printer and you want to change your, your size of your paper, um, then you can just keep on adding designs, right? So I never make mine small before I have grouped them so I'm just going to make the cut file so there's the red lines that's a cut file and now I'm just going to bring in 
the illustration I'm going to position it over the cut lines and then I'm just going to click group and now I will resize it so I never ever resize my um, illustration before the cut lines are made and then they are grouped once they are grouped then uh, you can resize them and now you can twist and turn them so that they will fit you know so that you can get as many as you need on here the rule of thumb is just that this line here is usually the cutoff so this little part might not cut but sometimes it's worth for me um, to just do this manually that little bit and then I have more than one design on my page you can also now select everything and even make it bigger or make it smaller you know so this is just a very simple way to show you how to do a print and cut if you have any questions just ask me and I'll answer you in the comment section thank you bye